All right, this is the new setup in the middle of a rainstorm. Got the double, double barrel tanks. Got a French drain coming in on this white pipe right here. That goes all the way up there and around my patio where all those rocks are. And I got this blue pipe, which is another French drain. 90 degree elbow, 12 inch catch basin. Then it turns into a French drain and all along the back of the property. And then the L along the fence right there. Then this tank right here with that blue pipe, that is a gutter downspout. Which comes from that gutter in the corner, if you can see through the trees. It's pumping right now. Some serious water coming out of there. Check out the rest of the system. You can see how much flow we got coming through here. It's French drain. Very nice. Obviously, you got to put siding in here. Not done yet. Clean out for it right here. 90 degree elbow. Along the fence. And we stop here. We got a Y connector, French drain right there. And we got a gutter downspout. Next to this 9 inch catch basin right here. That runs right here. And I have a cap on the end of that and drilled a bunch of holes in it. And that drains right into here with a bunch of stone. So I didn't put a pop up because I didn't want to go against gravity. So it just empties out into the gravel, but on the outside of the fabric. Let's see how that works. And over here. All this gravel right here, underneath that is a French drain. It's not connected to that catch basin. Don't let that fool you. All the French drain. Got a T right here. Right dish well not discharge, but the French drain continues to the sump pit back there. Double barrel pit. I got clean out ports. I haven't put the tops on yet. They're buried under there with a cap on them. There, another clean out port here, which I have to bring out above grade and put a cap on. And this gutter downspout goes to this 12 inch catch base and totally different plumbing, 4 inch solid. Comes all the way over here. into this second pit into that green pipe right there. So I have everything segregated. I'm not running my gutter downspout system in my French drain with the exception of that corner one over there, but it's not tied directly into the French drain. It's just discharging underground in a, in a uh, gravel bed, if you want to call it outside of the fabric and then here is my one horsepower 220 volt Liberty sewage pump coming out to a two inch discharge about 120 feet to the street this direction only thing I got left to do drainage wise obviously I got a mess here I gotta move all this dirt 
I'm going to say this. French drain works excellently, but be ready to have some, a place to put all this dirt because it produces a ton of dirt. Can't go back in the hole in the French drain. It all comes out. So this is the only gutter downspout I have left to tie in. Put that 9x9 nine nine right there. Bury the pipe under here. And probably put a little pop-up along the fence right here. Because I have good fall. And that water can just come through here as you see this water doing there. I don't see the need to plumb that all the way to the back. I've dug enough. And um, once that's done, I'm just going to get rid of all this dirt, clean up, till this backyard with a tiller, mix a little bit of sand in here, and then put my new zoysia grass down, and then it'll be very nice. Hoping that will alleviate all my drainage issues. Okay, well, till next time.